If you are a home or building owner, you've probably seen these white powdery blooms on the bricks or natural stones of your home. But do you know what this is and why they appear? You may have never heard of the word efflorescence before. But in simple terms, efflorescence describes crystalline salt deposits that appear on porous surfaces. It comes from the French word fleurisson, which means to flower. In our particular case, is the blooming of the salt on the surface of a porous material. Though the translation might sound beautiful, efflorescence on your stone is anything but beautiful or cute and could indicate serious problems. For efflorescence to bloom, three elements are required. Calcium salts, water, and a porous surface. Almost all natural and man-made stones used on the construction of homes and buildings are part of the carbonate group, which is based on calcium and oxygen. Take a look at this animation to see how efflorescence blooms. As water from the rain or any other source hits the surface of the stone, it gets trapped inside the stone pores and it bonds with the existing calcium composition in the stone. Some of this water will start to evaporate and resurface, bringing with it the calcium. The water will eventually dry, leaving behind the calcium on the surface. If not promptly treated, this cycle will create a dangerous situation. As more calcium is removed from the stone structure, it leaves behind crevices, wearing out the stone. This is due to the constant removal of material from the stone structure. If not treated, the stone will start to erode. This can result in a structure failure and collapse. To prevent efflorescence from blooming on your stones, you must make sure the stone is properly sealed. Currently, there are a variety of sealers on the market. However, not all sealers are designed to protect the stone against efflorescence. Waterproofing and hydrophobic sealers are the only ones recommended for this type of application. In a best-case scenario, these sealers will have a 10-year lifespan. The average upkeep is around 3 to 5 years. It all depends on how often the surface gets wet and how much sun exposure it gets. It is also important to pay attention to leaks, cracks, and keeping the surface dry. Now, if you already have an efflorescence problem in your home or building, here is how to remove it. Our client had an efflorescence and mold problem on their bluestone and bricks. First, our technician sprayed the surface with an efflorescence neutralizer and mold remediation solution. He then diamond brushed the entire surface to loosen all the calcium deposits on the stone. A quick wash to remove all the loose debris from the surface. Notice that the technician is not using a pressure washing machine. There is a reason why pressure washing is not recommended. This is because the pressurized water may cause more harm than good, as the pressurized water hits the surface, it will open the pores of the stone by removing stone particles, thus leaving more porous areas for the water to penetrate the surface. The last step is applying a hydrophobic sealer. Sometimes, one coat will not be enough. A good way to test how many coats of sealer your surface needs, is to apply the first coat and let it completely dry. Do a water test after 24 hours. If the water beads up, then one coat was enough. If the water is still penetrating the stone, let it dry and then apply the second coat. Repeat this process until the entire surface is free of water penetration. Subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell to see our future video releases. Thank you for watching our Stone Talk of the Week. Follow us on Instagram at StoneGuysNY for more tips on how to maintain your stone surfaces. Stone Talk of the Week is brought to you by the Stone Guys New York. Marble and natural stone refinishing services in New York, New Jersey and Connecticut. Visit us at www.stoneguysny.com.